Hey guys, so our 29th topic will be on error and exception handling, IO exception we are going to focus. Okay, what is this input output exception? Can, can you see a live example of it? Okay, so that uh, any question that comes in the exam, you should be able to answer. So first of all, let's have a example of input output exception or IO exception, commonly known as IO exception. Okay, now um, first of all, let's understand, okay. Uh, here I have a try catch block. In the try catch block, what activity I have used? Move file activity, and it is going to move from the downloads folder to a specific document, to a different folder, documents folder. And let's say the test 9.txt has been deleted. What happened? The test 9.txt has been deleted by someone. If you run this execution, if you run this workflow, in the catch section, which one out of all this will be executed? Okay, I have a similar question even here. Okay, try similar question, but which one here? But both in both the places, the answers are different. Okay, first of all, what you do? Look at the sequence number three and let me know if the file doesn't exist. This is activity is going to throw error. Now, out of all these activities. Which one is the appropriate one? Exception, null reference, IO exception, type it. Please do comment, okay? Argument exception, invalid operation exception, business rule exception, selector not found exception, file not found exception. Which is the exact error which would come? Now in this one, what is the selector not found and all that is there? So which is the right answer? So you know, right? You know what should be the right answer. But again, with this kind of situation, you might be highly confused Are which one I studied about input output exception I know but I don't know which one would be the right one so let's clarify that right we should get some clear examples okay to understand this I will show you what should be the output I hope you have already typed the answer or at least made a note now let's see what should be the answer so here simple activity I have taken and I'm going to debug it and I know this test 9.txt doesn't exist I simply give some name so if does, this doesn't exist, there will be an error immediately thrown. Okay, once the execution starts, there will be error thrown. So what you supposed to do to read that error? Because we need to be aware, okay, nobody remembers. You need to be aware of certain situations. So here, this has come. So you hit on continue, continue, and finally the error will be thrown. Now what you do, click on details, and I'm going to, Take this as a screenshot and I'm going to paste it in the paint. Okay. This is important. This is important. Okay. So now read the exception type. If you read the exception type of the error that we have on the screen, it tells you system.io.file not found exception. What is the exact error? File not found exception. And the parent is what? System.io. So file not found exception is a child of system.io getting it so that should be your understanding okay fine now look at this sequence and answer me here error will be thrown in this do you have file not found selector not found is there but file not found exception is not there so which one will be caught by the parent one which is io exception so if you debug this this one will get executed even this is not there then system dot exception will be executed getting it so this understanding should be there with you Okay, now I'm going to run the, after this, I'll run the sequence three. I'll show you the, how the answer will be different. So here, what is happening? System IO dot IO exception. So your study is important. So you trying on various ways is important. So system IO dot IO exception is running. So this one got executed. So answer is IO dot exception. Okay, now let's see this situation. In this one, what is happening? Selector not found exception is there. Okay, uh, sorry, sequence three. Um, file not found exception is there. Okay, so here instead of IO exception, which one will be executed? File not found exception should be executed. Okay, IO will not be executed, rather, file not found should be executed. So let's see that. So let's execute it. So, having um, uh, see, nobody can really remember all the different exceptions for sure, but at least few things, common things, if you at least have that confidence then it, is, it will be great right so which got executed file not found got executed do you see the output here i have written in the message box actually system.io file not found exception is running okay 
So this got executed. So the answer for this situation will be this one. Okay. So the, the, this one we have understood. Now let's go and look for some uh, proper documentation. Okay. Where do you find the documentation? So because these are all coming from the Microsoft.net. Um, so here simply type in your Google IO exception class Microsoft you can type and there's a document like this. Okay. So open this IO exception document. Now in this any of this would fit under system.io for example uh, just now we saw a file not found okay even file load exception will fit fit under io okay this is this is informative right a lot of information okay directory not found exception this is also would fit under system.io okay driver not found uh, end of stream exception path too long the file path is too long exception this all are part of this input output okay um, uh, net http protocol exception quick so just see that just have a glance so that you know you'll be able to relate so if you have this the this bit of knowledge you'll be able to relate okay so this is also very informative and you can take benefit. at least this table is important all right guys so thank you so much let's continue on to our next topic please do not forget to write completed so please do write completed and keep on commenting and I'll be continue to the next topic. Thank you.